Hello and welcome to DIY by the Pond. Today I'm showing you how I kept my stackable planters off the ground to help protect the plants from rabbits and insects and also how we kept the planter from blowing over in our windy area. The first thing we needed to do was drill a hole through the center of the planters. My husband used an awl and hammer to punch a pilot hole through the center of the planters while they were all nested together and then he drilled a hole through the planters. Here's what I used to get started. Six stackable planters that I purchased from walmart.com a three foot piece of rebar that we purchased from Home Depot and also a piece of PVC pipe which we also purchased from Home Depot. The PVC pipe was originally two feet in length but I asked my husband to cut it down to eight inches and he used his miter saw to cut that down. Now let's get started. What I'm doing here is putting the first planter on the piece of PVC and then I hammer the rebar in the ground. You might notice I'm on a slight slope here so it looks like the rebar is leaning a lot but that's actually making the plants stay more level.
Now I have all the dirt in, I'm ready to go pick out my seeds. I'm just going to go look in my seed basket inside and pick out the ones that I want. I think I'm going to end up going with squash, zucchini, cilantro, parsley, some peppermint, and some strawberries. This is what it ends up looking like on the tower and we're going to get started planting. I've been really happy with these stackable planters. They've held up really well. We haven't had many problems with the bunny rabbits. Keeping them off the ground really helped a lot. And we um, haven't had any issues with our little boy knocking the planter over. I think the rebar helped. He does touch everything and handle everything and help water it. It's been really fun. We're gonna go ahead and get more of these and hopefully we'll show you some more gardening with these planters in the future. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to see more simple living and DIY videos, subscribe to our channel.